Ti ni 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 ni. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into a modern Konami classic. They do exist, although not anymore. But this is Contra 4, only on the Nintendo DS. So Contra 4 here, also known as Contra DS. Oh, here we go, story right away. Two years have passed since the Alien Wars. This game is called Contra 4 because it is a direct follow-up to Contra 3, the Alien Wars. All seemed well until, without warning, the Black Viper defended from space and turned Earth into a living hell. Oh, breathing. Oh, he literally incinerated all those people. Blatant death on a Nintendo console that would not have flown in the NES days. Peace became a distant memory, and previous efforts to save the planet were quickly forgotten. But we just fight off one alien invasion and another shows up instantly. It's like, can't this place ever stay safe? Now strange readings have been detected in the Galuga Archipelago off of the coast of New Zealand. Okay. I thought the screen was glitching out there at the top, but it turns out it was a helicopter blade. Earth's four finest soldiers are being dispatched on a final strike mission. Contra style, baby. That means we're gonna slide in, kill all the enemies, and sneak our way out. Stealthy-like. So, anyway. Contra here. Contra 4. Also known as Contra Dual Spirits. Just so that it can have the initials DS. Because it's on the Nintendo DS. Um, a lot of old uh, Nintendo DS games sort of played this little game where they would add uh, two words that would have the initials DS onto the end of them because they're on the Nintendo DS. It's kind of like how back in the SNES era, every game was super this and super that because it's on the Super Nintendo. Uh, kind of a fun way to sort of uh, link your game to its uh, system. Anyway, let's check out the options uh, real quick here. What do we got? Anything? Oh, did I just jump back to the main title screen? Okay, hold on. Options. Go. What do we got? Voice, SFX, or erase data. Okay, forget it. Here are, the, here are the menu blips, by the way. This is totally from Contra 3. So this game is like an homage to the NES and Super Nintendo era Contras. It was the 11th Contra game ever made, but it's called Contra 4, again, because as you saw in the opening cinematic there, it's a direct sequel to Contra 3. It ignores a lot of the mechanics that came after Contra 3, and so it's a NES-SNES hybrid Contra game, which super excites me. Which super excites me. So let's go into uh, character select. Bill Riser, he's the classic blue pants shirtless hero from the first Contra and second. Then we have Lance Bean, also known as the Bean Machine. He's the red pants hero. I guess uh, that was the name of the guy from the original Contra. All right. Then we have Green Pants. He's new to the team. Shirts are not standard issue in the Contra Task Force. I mean, think about it. You know, you're moving around, you're running, you're gunning, you're shooting aliens. You gotta be, like, unconstrained by shirt fabric, be able to move like a cheetah. So, uh, Mad Dog here. And we also have Scorpion. He's the purple pants renegade, the rebel. He's the Raphael of the Ninja Turtles that are the uh, Contra Squad. Should we go with Bean Machine or Bill? I feel like Bill is just so classic. Blue Pants is basically how you played Contra. Locked and loaded. All right. Now, we have played some modern Contra games. Uh, you know, I think I played the Contra that was on the Wii a while back, and that was actually super fun. So I'm excited to see what they've done here with the Nintendo DS version of, uh, what is this? Play Contra the way it's meant to be played. With a friend! <laughs> well, I don't have a friend game. Thanks for making me feel alone. Um, it's you against the endless alien army. All right. They should have, like, a colon, you are a loser. Nobody loves you. You, you lonely freak. All right, and uh, okay, so here's our difficulties. Not a hardcore gamer? Consider this boot camp. Locked and loaded soldier. It may be called normal, but this is no picnic. Apparently, this is the difficulty that makes the game as hard as the original Contra. And actually, if you play the game on easy, you don't have access to all the levels in the game. So we're going to go ahead and try normal. Um, I think, think you're the master of 2D action? Not anymore, you're not. Yeah, I think we're going to put a pin in hard. I'm not here to try and prove anything, guys. I just want to have a good time today and play some Contra and hopefully uh, share some nostalgia with you. So we're going to go for normal mode. And uh, we're starting in the jungle, just like Contra number one. So, a lot of the levels in this game sort of, uh, you know, bear homage to the uh, to the original Contras. 
So obviously, this one here is totally like the uh, first Contra. Oh my god. There's like guys and bullets flying at us already. Jesus, I almost died already. Boy, they're not kidding that this is like an old school Contra. You gotta have your wits about you in Contra because there's just like, not only are there uh, guys everywhere, but uh, there's like bullets everywhere. Okay, so here's the flame. Oh, this is totally like the flame weapon from the first Contra, which sucked by the way. And here's the bridge. Okay, that bridge did not explode. Oh God. All right, let's gonna, oh God. Let's go ahead and get the spread gun because this is, anyone who plays Contra knows that spread is the best of all the guns. So as you can see, this game, it doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles that some of the modern Contras have. It plays very much kind of like a slower version of Contra 3, which is awesome. Oh, there's a, an enemy from, Con from Super C. The thing that came out out of the grass. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a slower version of, um, of of Contra 3. And let's see, we can switch our weapons just like in Contra 3, but we can also, there we go, grapple. So grappling is one of the new abilities. So there are a couple new abilities that you've got here. Oh God, and there are double screens here. And if you pick up the same weapon twice as you just saw, my machine gun got fully upgraded. So you can, oh my God, <laughs> Jesus, that bullet almost got me. If you pick up the same weapon twice, it gets upgraded, and so that's the thing. Um, C. Eh, forget about C. I'm happy with the uh, with the spread and the machine gun. I like the machine gun because it's like you can just like hold the button down and like let nature take its course. Oh, and that bridge just exploded. I guess I was too slow there. Hey! Oh God! I almost died there. Okay. Oh, another spread. So let's go ahead and boom. Now spread got upgraded. Um, it is, it, it does fire like an auto fire like in Contra 3, but again, it feels a little slower than Contra 3, which I kind of dig actually. In Contra 3, every single gun was in like hyper machine gun mode, and it was fine, like I didn't really have complaints about Contra 3, but it's kind of nice to have a game that feels a little more old schooly, a little more like the original Contra, where, or Super C, where, where, you know, not everything was a machine gun. But it is also nice to not have to hold the button down, it's easier on your thumb. Contra? The first Contra on NES was brutal on your thumb. That is a game that was designed to be played with a uh, turbo controller. We're gonna skip the L. Apparently, apparently, hold on here, you can like jettison a weapon. Hold on, I actually don't wanna do it near a pit, in case I do something that I'm gonna regret. Um, let's kill this, this guy here, okay. Apparently you can jettison a weapon, yeah, there you go. So you can like drop power-ups and you can try picking up other weapons and if you don't like them, you can get your power-ups back. So that's kind of a cool feature. Um, also, this screen splitting is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Like, I, I can't tell like how high I have to go up to, to get on that screen, but I guess higher than I can go. So, okay, so I wish I was up there, but I'm not. Except that now I am. There we go, now we're up in the skies. Oh, damn it. I did not know that was gonna happen. Oh my god, okay, hold on. Oh no, get down! <laughs> I meant to switch my weapon and I accidentally jumped uh, jumped up where the enemy was. Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Damn it! Okay, we just gotta run, guys. We gotta run. We're totally gonna die here. This thing is gonna kill us all. Oh, get off of this thing! Get off of this thing! Okay, go, 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 go! Okay, we can kill this thing. We can kill this thing. I think we got it. Oh, can we actually now get in it, maybe? Um, hold on, maybe we'll do this. No, nope, we, we can't. Okay, it's just an empty thing that's sitting there for anyone to come and pilot it. Man, if we had died on the first level, that would have been embarrassing. Let's go ahead and take the flame weapon. And let's try the laser, why not? Ah, yeah, laser's pretty cool. In the first Contra, laser kind of sucked, but this laser actually seems not too bad. Okay, so do we have to, I'm, I'm imagining we gotta kill this thing. Okay, this is gonna be pretty easy. Oh God! It fires, it fires crazy lasers. Okay, can we just do this then? All right, so the wall upgraded. This is the same wall that's the boss in uh, the first Contra, the first NES Contra, but it upgraded itself. And there we go, we blew up the wall. We fought a wall and we won, because we're commandos. Uh-oh, it's, it's, it's taking on its ultimate form. Oh my god, the wall has gone crazy! Oh my god, and they're shooting bullets at us too! Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Oh god, oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this game might be harder than it looks. Shoot! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I died on the first level, are you kidding me? 
Also, I think what's throwing me off a bit is the screens aren't perfectly aligned. And so it's hard to, like, that gap between the screens actually kind of sucks. Because it, 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 it makes it hard to, like, judge um, where things are going to... Like, if someone shoots you from the top screen, it's hard to tell exactly where it will cross over the bottom screen. Like, look, when I'm shooting at an angle, see how the, there's, like, a gap between the angle of where my bullet leaves the screen and where it appears on the upper screen? Like, that gap is throwing me off a bit. So that is not going to be good for us. Let's just kill this guy. So I guess to get that H, you're supposed to like maybe do this. Yeah, like you have to do, you have to, there you go. You have to like do some crazy shenanigans like that, which is pretty impressive that they want you to try that. Let's try this. Hey, oh yeah, we're in the top. All right, so I figured out, oh, how <laughs> to get up there and I died instantly. Boy, this is totally like the original Contra. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, you know what? We might actually have to play this game on easy. I, I thought this was going to be a situation where, like, we could easily handle it on, like, the hard difficulty. But, like, I'll be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not upset or anything, but I remember playing Contra on the Wii. Contra Rebirth, I think it was called. And it was basically also, like, an homage to, like, the uh, 8-bit NES games. But it was definitely not this hard. So this game has really captured the old NES level of difficulty. Okay, let's see if we can get in this thing now. Can I get in this thing? Oh, come on, it's just sitting there. It's like begging for someone to get in. Okay, well, whatever. All right, well, we destroyed it at least. So that's something. Okay, so the, the, the boss of this level is tougher than it seems. I'm, like, trying to think of, like, what a good strategy could even be for, like, fighting him. Um, okay, we got to get these power-ups. Get the power-ups is, like, a good start. Doop, 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 doop. Um, all right. So what are we going to do here? So what was getting me was the bullets. So how about this? After we destroy the first wave of wall, we got to like go up and clear the guys who are shooting bullets at us. Because I feel like that's the most damaging thing. So we'll kill this first. And probably the flame might be good for killing the bullet guys because it has like a wider like angle of attack. Okay. Like once you know what this boss is going to do, this is actually not that complicated. Oh, the, the, the things are like going around it. <laughs> There we go. Are we even damaging this thing? Okay, there we go. It looked like the flames were going around it when I was shooting. Okay, so like... So like, what angle... How do I shoot these guys? Because like, they're, they're... Look how high they are up there. Okay, so we'll do this. Okay, this, I'm just going to keep doing this. And... Okay, maybe I could just like shoot the heart and I don't even have to worry about these guys. Because they can't seem to hit me when I'm on the helicopter. Oh, damn it, I, did. I wasn't even paying attention to that one. The second eye got me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, no, stop! <laughs> damn it. I couldn't break the grapple in, in midair. Oh, my God, and that thing got me. Is that it? Okay, let's switch to the laser. Oh, we, we actually got that thing, so that's something. Okay. Oh, my God, this is so precarious. Oh, I should have ducked. I should have ducked. No! <laughs> I'm dead. <sighs> All right, guys, I had high ambitions for this game, but uh, we are definitely going to have to go and turn the difficulty down because there's absolutely no way that I'm going to be able to like, like, I don't want you guys to watch me like fail on the first level like a billion times. Oh, the shame of having to play Contra on easy mode. Um, although there's not much shame in it because let's be honest, it's freaking Contra. Oh, and listen to this. I just paused the game to like uh, turn the volume down on my TV. It has the same pause as like the NES version. That is so awesome. I love the fact that this is a modern retro game. Like, yeah, baby, this is exactly my style of video game. They took a game I liked and they were like, you know what? Um, let's just make it again. Let's let's take modern technology and make a, make uh, an awesome an awesome old school game. Oh, look, flame gets really powerful when you upgrade it. So one thing about playing this game on easy is you get the upgraded version of uh, all the weapons. So, eh, I'm going to take spread. I like spread. I'm a spread kind of guy. It's a, the classic Contra weapon. You can't play Contra and not use spread. Um, it's interesting, though, to think that, <clears throat> like, when they developed the original Contra, uh, we definitely don't want that. When they developed the original Contra, 
Um, there were all these things, there were all these, like, limits of the day that, like, helped dictate how the game was developed, right? Like, there were all these, like, physical limits on, like, what the NES could and couldn't do and stuff like that. And so I'm sure that when they originally built Contra, they were kind of like, oh, there was, like, a dream of, like, all this stuff they would have loved to include. But they just couldn't do it because of, like, limits of the day. And so Contra ended up having some of the mechanics it had because of, like, actual... Oh, my God, there's stuff everywhere. Holy crap! This is crazy. Um, Contra had some of the gameplay that it had because there were, like, actual limits on, like, what the technology could do. It's interesting to think that, like, back when developers were in that state, they were kind of like, man, if only we could do whatever we wanted, then we could truly make the game we want to see. And then we kind of hit that stage because, like, technologically these days, you can pretty much make a game that does, like, almost anything. And it's interesting that even even today, when people can do almost anything, they're, they're going back and they're making games that have retro game mechanics. Almost like um, developers kind of like nowadays are like, well, we can make anything we want, but now we're kind of motivated to, you know, make make something that uh, that is reminiscent of the limitations of yesterday. Okay, we're actually going to try and get this. Don't ask me why. But OK, we just got to get the timing right. Oh, God. OK, here we go. Yo, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> and we lost spread as a result of that little uh, that little experiment. Hey, oh, there we go. Um, oh my god. I keep wanting to press X to switch weapons, and it is not the weapon that I should, or it's not the button I should be pressing. All right, well, you, you know what? You got to try things, guys. We're playing this game on easy. If we're not taking chances, what are, what are we even doing with our lives? Like, we're playing it on easy, and we're not taking any chances. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Can I, can I just pick that up? Hold on. I, I can't just grapple the seat. No! See? I missed it. I was like a, a, a minute too late for that. All right. Well, let's uh, go back to our laser gun. Yeah, this gun is pretty good. I guess a lot of the guns, once they upgrade once, are like pretty good. Oh, flame. We'll take that. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Oh, do I, do I want two lasers? No, I don't. I want the variety. I want the choice of flame or laser. Oh, you jerk. Oh, my God. I almost jumped into that bullet. Okay. Let's kill this thing. Actually, can I just do this? I guess, does the laser do more damage than the flame, or the flame do more damage? I can't tell. Okay, so now when the wall upgrades, I need, like, a plan of attack here. I'm going to start by trying to destroy the things over here. Okay, this this will be an interesting, uh, an interesting experiment here. Oh, my God. Okay, we'll go. Oh, you jerk! I wasn't fast enough. Oh, no, get off of there! Oh, my God! All right. So, already the grand experiment is uh, starting off ex extremely poorly. Damn it, I didn't duck in time. Jeez, thank God we're playing this. Uh, oh, no, get off of there! Oh, my God, I lost the flame, too! This is a cluster, a cluster screw up of epic proportions. Oh, my God, I didn't duck. Oh, my God. We're not even gonna pass this. We're not even gonna pass this. The, uh, the bullets that are constantly, like, raining down on you from high are actually, like, pretty annoying. Okay. We, we, we've never gotten this far and been this successful. So. Oh! Get, get off! Get off! Oh, God, get away from this thing! Oh, my God. Huh! And the angle of the bullets, you just have to, like, pray. You just have to pray that you're, you're not going to hit one when you're grappling your way out to the top. Holy crap. We destroyed the wall, but it cost me most of my lives. That was on easy. I just wanted on the record. That was on easy. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> oh my god. So obviously this Contra game, by the way, uh, it it doesn't have any of the DS's gimmicks. You know, it has two screens. You know, obviously it, it has du dual screens because it's a DS game. But beyond that, it doesn't really have too many other sort of like gimmicks or anything like that. It is basically. Oh my god. Um, oh god. How do I get past this thing? Um, huh, can I, oh, I can grapple, there we go. Um, oh, and there's, like, zombies? Now this is, this reminds me, oh, God. This reminds me of, uh, Metal Slug now with the zombies. Um, uh, oh, there we go. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't have any of the gimmicks. There's, like, very little touch screen stuff going on. It's essentially, oh, my God, duck. Jeez, this is difficult. <laughs> it's essentially just a, uh, a controller game, which, which I appreciate. Um, I said before, I'm not a fan of, like, 
um, gimmicks on either like the touch screens or like the uh, oh my god this is crazy uh, or motion controls like if the gim if if a control doesn't have to be there it shouldn't be in there in my opinion and so I like the fact that they kept this like nice and classic and simple so it's like there's no real gimmicks oh and the default bullet sound is I think the sound from uh, oh my god is the sound from uh, Contra One die die jeez oh my god I died. Okay, let's just run, man. Forget it. Oh my god, they're, they're dropping down off the walls after us. Oh my god. We're never gonna make it through this level. This is freaking insane. This is, this is easy. This is on easy, my friends. There's nothing easy about this. This is like one of the hardest games I've ever played. <laughs> uh, but, it, but it's fun. It's fun. Uh, oh god, get that thing. That wipes out everything on the screen. It's like the, uh, the, the special trophy or whatever. I never knew what those, like, power-ups that, like, drop you weapons or whatever were in any of the Contras. They kind of look like, um... They kind of look like weird little, like, uh, military, like, trophy balloons or something like that. And I don't know why they're carrying guns or whatever, but it's like a, a weapon drop, I guess. Thank God we're past that part. That was a freaking nightmare with those guys coming in out of the ceiling. It was cool, but it was a nightmare. Oh, this is totally... Listen to the music. This is totally like World 1, 3 or whatever in, uh, oh my god, what do I do here? Oh, I climbed the wall. In, uh, Contra, in the NES Contra, you son of a peach. No, don't, don't kill me, man. Freak. Okay, here we go. Oh, I love the old school sound effects. There's nothing more satisfying than like an NES era sound effect. I, I will, I will say that. I will agree to that. Okay, we got a machine gun. See, like the machine gun wasn't even on any screen. It was between the screens. So here's one thing, you know, like, so far there's a lot going on in this game that I like. I love the old school sound effects and stuff like that. But there's two things I don't like. One is actually, like, the difficulty is actually a little surprisingly hard, even for easy. It would be nice if it was, like, toned down just a little. Um, but you know what? I can forgive that. The one thing that I actually do hate about this game, though, is the dual screens. Only because there's, like, a weird gap between the screens where, like, nothing's being drawn. And I almost feel like this game would have been better if they had just focused it on one screen, made all the graphics that much smaller, and just had the bottom screen be like a status screen or something like that. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe like, if I was playing this on a real DS, it would, like, play a little better. But, like, I have to play on my computer so I can record it, and the gap between the screens is just really off-putting. Like, maybe if the physical gap was there, because on, on the DS, the actual screens aren't touching. They're uh, separated by a bit of hardware. Oh, my God. But it makes it really hard to, like, judge where bullets from the top are going to land or, like, you know, if there is something that's uh, between the screens, you can't even see it. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a fan of that part of the game. I will say that. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I, I have to climb up this level here, and there's a, there's a little bit of randomness going on here in the sense of, like, I don't really know what's above me. And I just kind of have to hope that uh, I'm not going to die here sometimes. But uh, I love the music. I love the fact that this is, like, an homage to level 3 of the NES Contra. That was always such a fun level where, like, I re everyone will always remember that level. Because it's the level where, basically, you and your friend... It, it was like a friendship ender. Because if you jumped up too high, the bottom of the screen would scroll and you could kill your friend. And so it was always one where your friend was like, stop jumping, I'm not ready. And if you were a dick, you could just sort of keep on jumping and like really screw with them. Oh my god. Okay, that sucked. Um, I actually don't want flame, to be honest. I want spread. Spread's gonna get us through this part. Huh, interesting. Oh, we're on some kind of elevator. Huh, and it's taking us up to the top. So if this is the same boss from the level 3 of Contra, it'll be like this big monster face with two arms that kind of chase us. Oh, what is this? Dudes! It's a bunch of dudes! Hiding at the top of a waterfall. How sinister. This is the easiest boss ever. I, I like it, though. I like it when bosses are nice and simple. Oh, my God. These guys being jerks about it. There we go. We killed one of them. Bomb-throwing blueies. Joke's on you, I've got the blue pants, man. Oh, what are these guys? These, these are guys that they shoot bullets that have better armor than the average guy. Okay, here comes here comes the boss. 
pretty sure. The boss is always like an alien. In Contra, what's interesting about Contra is that like all the bad guys you fight just feel like, oh, damn it. Random like henchmen from some like evil, you know, G.I. Joe kind of enemy. Like they feel like Cobra soldiers, but then the bosses are always like these like bizarre, like alien creatures. Oh God, alien creatures, damn it. Uh, one thing about Contra is that until you know like the patterns of the bosses, you die a lot. But once you know the patterns, oh my God. Oh my God. Once you know the patterns, bosses are actually pretty easy. So I don't know any of the patterns because I've never played this game before. So bear with me as we learn through experience, AKA we die. All right, so we died in there. That's okay though. We're gonna go ahead and continue. And it, it puts us back. We're not at the boss, but we're probably close. Okay, so B is a shield. I don't know what that stands for. What does what does B stand for? Uh, I don't, like I don't know, like a beryllium shield or something. Like what the heck could B possibly stand for that would make sense for a shield? Oh my god, I thought I was up there. I just fell to my death, and I had the spread. That sucks. These boss guys are gonna be really hard to kill without the spread, which is annoying. In many ways, this game is kind of like uh, oh, pfft, God. It's kind of like uh, Life Force or Salamander, which is another NES game that uh, I, I played in my channel here. Um, although, like, that one was not a game that I knew very well. Um, so, like, Life Force. Like, I played I played a lot of Contra when I was a kid. Life Force, I don't think I, like, ever played, you know? Like, I was a Contra fanatic when I was a kid. Life Force, I knew of it, but, like, I wasn't really a fan, didn't really own the game, nothing like that. Um, I think the only reason I liked Contra more than Life Force is because I owned Contra. And was Life Force two players at the same time? I think Contra being two players, being co-op, was actually a fairly damn it big deal. Um, I tried to get the spread and ended up dying. Because, because being a co-op game meant you could play it with your brother or like your friend and you could get in fights over it and all sorts of great... NES era shenanigans couldn't see. Oh my god, he threw a bomb and hit me from all the way up there. Ugh. I blame it on not being able to judge angles when guys are too high. Like, seriously. It's it's actually an impedance to play this game. It makes it harder than it should be. Um, I, w I really wonder what, like, the virtual console version of this game is like. If there is even is one. In fact, I don't think there is. I think this game, a version of it, came out on the iPhone, though. Believe it or not. Which is, like, the worst platform to put a Contra game out. You know... Uh, let's take a game where you need like very precise, um, very precise controls and put it onto a touchscreen controller. Yeah, that's that's a winning strategy right there. Um, but between Life Force and Contra, like it's very similar in that you have to like collect power ups and you have to like upgrade your weapons and stuff. But one is with ships and the other is with like commando dudes. And I think I just happened to own Contra as a kid and that's why I liked it. Like it was kind of random. Like I didn't choose to become a Contra fan. You know, Contra chose me. My dad bought Contra for NES when I was a kid, and from then on, I, I liked and enjoyed Contra. We would play Contra 1 over and over and over again. It was it was pretty great. Oh, my God. Okay, so we learned how to avoid that little thing. I wish I had an upgraded weapon, though. That would make my life significantly better. Okay, here's this part. And we jump. Okay. This guy's not too bad. Oh, God. <laughs> I guess I should have ducked there. Okay. Oh god, ow. Okay, I'm just gonna try and avoid his his claws when he comes to attack. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright. Doing okay. Jump over that thing. Alright, I think we got this guy. I think we got him. Although if he takes a second form, we'll be screwed, because I won't know how to fight him. And we Oh god! Yep. We died in we died in like the the neutral zone where we couldn't even see where we were on the screen. Duck! Ah, oh, damn it! Don't shoot at an angle, duck. Okay, we're just trying not to die to his claws. We have one life left. This is not boding well for us. Do we have it in us to kill him? Uh, I don't know about this. Okay. He's barfing up all his dinner of. Energon balls. We killed him! Holy crap! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Is he turning into a mega form? He is! Crap! We're screwed. We're screwed. 
We're screwed! Oh my god! Okay, yeah, this is this is where having one life is really bad. Maybe he just does this. In which case, I can avoid this. It really sucks having that no man's land. But, oh, we did it! Holy crap! Oh my god. Guys, I had to dig deep for that one. I only had one life left. Oh, I guess I had one bonus life, but I don't know if I earned that by killing him. All, all the bones came out of his head. He had a lot of bones in his head. That was his crucial mistake. Too many bones in the skull. Alright, we made it to level 3, which is halfway through the game, and like, I'm running low on continues stuff. Oh yeah! An homage to level 2 of the original Contra. This, this is cool. Now, it is interesting here that they've gone for an actual 3D level, which I don't think that would have been totally necessary. Like, in the NES version of uh, Contra here, um, it was... It, it was, like, a, you know, done all with, like, 2D sprites and just gave the illusion of 3D. I don't think this part necessarily had to be 3D. I mean, it's fine as being legitimately 3D, but actually it's kind of hard to judge, like, the height of bullets and stuff that are coming at you, to be totally honest. Um, like these guys here, when they eventually do shoot at you. I mean, I guess, you know what, I, I've, I, I don't even notice now that there's a gap between the two screens. In fact, yeah, what is... Oh, it's because it's all on one screen! Okay, this is how the game should be, where all the action is on one screen. Oh my god, still got killed. So you can see, like, where things are coming from, in theory, although I got killed. And the bottom screen should be a status bar. This is how the game should have been from the get-go. Um... It is interesting, though, how at the bottom there, you have a little, like, 2D map of, like, where you kind of, like, are in the base. Uh, I know in the arcade version of this level, the NES version lacked it, but I think in the arcade version, this level was actually, damn it, a maze. And you could pick where you wanted to go, and you'd have a little map at the bottom. You could kind of see, you know, what path would take you towards the end. And we're halfway through our credits. This doesn't bode well. So there's six levels. There's only four that you get to play on easy. So maybe we'll get to see the end of the easy levels, which I think would be like a success for us. I think like all things considered, that would be like a success. Um, do I want the laser? Yes, I do. Um, I think in the in the very first Contra, like machine gun and spread were the only real usable weapons. I don't think that like flame and laser were actually any good. Um, I think th that was all the weapons, but in subsequent Contras, they have done a really good job of making, like, all the weapons, like, uh, useful. So it's not just, like, you know, like, Spread, I think, is still everyone's favorite, but, uh, but it's not like the other weapons are useless. Also, fun bit of trivia, did you know the S doesn't stand for Spread? It stands for Shotgun. So the Spread Gun is actually a shotgun, um, and it's actually, like, the world's most effective shotgun because it, like, wipes out everything on the screen. Like, if literally shotguns, you could open fire in a room and kill absolutely everything in that room, shotguns would be used way more often in the real world. Just basically like a bomb gun. Like, it just literally destroys everything, damn it. Oh, speaking of shotguns, or the spread gun, this is what we wanted all along. Oh my god. So the spread gun is good at wiping out multiple enemies, but it's bad at single targets. But the thing is, like, in Contra, the thing that kills you is not, like, one enemy that's getting you, usually. It's the fact that there's, like, a billion enemies on the screen, and, like, you just, you can't, like, uh, you can't take them all out at once. And so, like, they eventually start taking shots at you. So, I feel like the spray gun is generally pretty good. I switched away from it right there, just because, uh, we needed to, uh, oh, what the, what the hell is that? Um, okay, God, don't kill me! Oh, Jesus. Um, because we needed a, a more targeted shot. God, okay, there we go. Let's kill this thing really quickly. So the machine gun makes faster work of these, like, individual pieces than the spray gun did. Oh, and this is the boss, too! There's some kind of, like, weird computer system. I totally remember this from the first, uh, the first contact. Oh, damn it! <laughs> okay. Guess we're gonna go with spread. Keep us alive, spread. Spready boy. What? What killed us?! We just, like, lost the will to live. My guy was just like, and I'm done. What, what, what killed us? Hold, hold on there. What is doing that? What the hell is doing that? Okay. Well, now, now we're really screwed. What? I just died again. There's, there must be, like, some, something that's, that is being shot at me that I can't see. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's probably, like, little bubbles or something that are, yes, yeah, see, there's, like, little things exploding. But I can't see them. Oh, no. 
Well, this is what I get for trying to play this game on an emulator. Are you serious? You can like occasionally see like a blue and red uh, bubble flash, and it's the thing that this thing is like shooting at me that's killing me. So if I beat this boss without being able to actually see the projectiles he's trying to kill me with, I think I should earn extra respect, guys. Just saying. That's like a true con- like, yeah, I couldn't pass level 1 on a normal level of difficulty, but I just beat a boss there where I couldn't see the projectiles he was sending at me. Y you gotta give it to me there, you know? Like, I don't, I don't often get cocky, but come on. Come on, that's pretty awesome, right? Alright, now back to not being able to be able to judge distances. Oh, you bastard! Let's party. You know what, if we die again, I wonder if we can, like, change characters. I wonder if that's a thing that we can do. Let's get this, there we go. This is a precarious level because you're just kind of like, oh my god, dying. You're just, you're just kind of, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, uh, you know, constantly like dangling for your life. Ah! Okay. <laughs> These missiles are like dancing around the enemies. I like it. Oh, well, let's uh, just stay out of everyone's line of fire here. So the grapple is kind of like a cool addition. I would say it's like a really subtle add-on to the game. Aw, oh, damn it, I wanted to keep that uh, homing missile. It actually kind of sucks. Um, yeah, the grapple's like a very subtle addition. I think I'm, I'm occasionally pressing the wrong button to grapple, but once I get used to it, I could see myself being a lot more comfortable with the grapple and it being like a really handy uh, upgrade to have. Okay, all right, what is this? Oh God, didn't mean to do that, and I'm dead. <laughs> ha! Ugh. It's okay, we're, in theory, on the last level. We, do, we don't need two continues. We just need one. Well, but we might use both continues, but it's not like we need them. Um, I don't know if this is going to be one of the later levels that we're not going to see, but it would be pretty cool if there was, like, a snow level. The snow level in the first Contra was always one of my favorites. Uh, the snow field or something it was called, I, I seem to remember. Let's uh, go ahead and grab this thing. Boom! Oh god, jump over the bullets. Okay, kill all these guys. All right. I feel like the homing gun is pretty essential in this part of the game. Like, it really... <laughs> all those missiles were just dancing around that guy. It really makes this part of the game a lot easier. Like, you can just stay away from the guys, and you'll still hit them. Oh my god. Okay, do we want the... Oh, we, we don't even have the choice of getting the laser. That's okay. I'd rather not have the choice and keep this gun. Because look how awesome this is. This is the gun. This is the gun that Jay needs. The gun that does all the work for you. Um, boom, boom. We'll take the C. Even though I'm not a f big fan of the C in this game, the I think it stands for like what charge shot or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do I do here? Switch away from the valuable weapon, I guess. Um, okay. We kill this thing. Yeah. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh my god, this thing is coming for us all. Oh god! <laughs> Thank god I didn't have the good gun. Let's get out of here. Okay. Nope, nope. And there we go. Alright. Let let the uh, let the homing missiles do their work. Just sit back, let them do their do their thing. Nice and easy. Nice and easy! Oh my god. I feel like you do not jump. Uh, high enough in this game like in in the NES era Contras. I think you jumped higher And I keep expecting you to jump higher in this game, but you do not So I keep thinking that I can like make a jump like I thought I was gonna make that. Oh, what the heck this guy just fell apart Oh my god, and he repaired himself Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh my god. These guys are all breaking Okay, oh, they, they're turning into like dogs and they reassemble or something They're like self-repairing robots but not, not the good kind that help you, the evil kind that want to destroy you. All the power-ups are on the top. I'm getting screwed here. I mean, I guess I'm doing pretty well because I got the homing gun to keep me alive, but I would like, I would I would appreciate the option for a power-up. I'm just saying. It'd be kind of nice to know that they haven't forgotten me down here. Oh my god. Let's just keep on going. Now, do you think we would have done better if we had been like the bean machine or like green pants or something like that? It would be interesting if the Contra guys all had, like, different abilities or something, but I'm pretty sure that they're, they're like, different in, like, name only. Like, they play the exact same. Oh, my God, there's a spread gun over there. I'm never going to make it over there in time. Oh, and I, in trying to get it, I died and lost the homing missile. This is really good. Damn it, I died again. Oh, God. 
Okay, my arrogance ended up costing me severely. There's a bunch of bird people here. Hmm. I'm wiping out, like, bird person's whole race there. How did the aliens recruit bird people? Oh my god. Okay, come get some. Hopefully this is a good power. Oh, I'll take the machine gun. In fact, I'm going to switch. The machine gun is so valuable, I'm switching off of it to avoid losing it. Uh, because if I die here, I don't want to accidentally not have a weapon. Um, wait, what does it want me to do here? Just enjoy myself? Do I do this? Oh, there we go. Okay. Then I can, like, climb to victory. I'm, like, trying to escape. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, God, it's still going. It's just going without me. Okay. Hew! It's interesting. We're kind of like, oh, what, what is that? This thing. Oh, it's going to punch me. <laughs> Damn it. I knew that was coming. All right. You want some? You're going to get some. Switch off of the, the good weapon in case he does kill me. Oh, my God. It killed me in the no man zone. The no man's. It's oh, every, every time I die, it happens in the no man zone. I'm telling you, man. That is not a good mechanic. Hey, oh, there we go. Wait, switch off of the good gun. And just keep on climbing. What am, am I on, like, a missile? Oh, my God, I'm being... I'm on, like, a multi-stage rocket being launched into space. Uh, my guy does know... Oh, my God, there's rockets flying at us. My guy does know that there's no atmosphere, right, in space. Like, like I'm on an ICBM that seems to be on its way to a target. Um, okay. He thinks he knows what's going on. I'm going to go with it. We're, we're now, like, hurtling towards towards Earth at, like, high speed. This could be very bad for everyone involved. Like, even if I survive these, like, little missiles that are trying to kill me, which I don't know if that's certain. Oh, my God. I'm going to die when the warhead explodes. That was a poorly thought out plan. When you find yourself riding an ICBM to an enemy target, you know that you've messed up somewhere along the way. Your plan is not as good as it seems. Oh, my God. I got to do this manually? Okay, well, we have nine lives left, guys. We're like a sexy cat on its last life. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I have a pretty good guess, which is that we're not going to make it. We're, we might get a little farther on that missile, now that I know how to kill the big guy who tries to punch us. But we don't have any of our good weapons. We are we are in some trouble. We are in some amount of trouble. Okay, can I... Is this a weapon? Okay, I will take the machine gun, though. That's, that got me through last time. So, okay, well, we made it here with eight lives. Who knows? You never know what will happen. But, uh, okay, here's what will happen. When I get down to, like, uh, three lives or so, maybe I'll start wrapping up my thoughts in this game. Until then, let's think positive thoughts, guys. Like, you never know how far you can make it on one life in these uh, NES games. Okay, go, go, go. There we go. That was weird. It was, like, bump bumping my head into something. Couldn't even quite see what it was. Okay. Oh, jump! Damn it! <laughs> that sucks. Kill him! Shoot her! Oh god! Okay. No, 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 my machine gun! I couldn't switch it in time. Too much is happening. Uh, you bastard. Oh god, I just jumped to my death. Oh look, we both fell to our death. And I died again. Okay, I'll take it. We're down to four lives. Well, uh, Contra 4 here is one of the games in the book of the House of One Video Games you must play before you die, and we need to wrap it up before I die, because I am totally... There's no way I'm making it through this. Um, Contra 4 here, I think, is an awesome concept. Like, let's go ahead and remake... Or not remake, but let's make a sequel to Contra 3. Like, you know, 10 or 15 years after the fact. I don't even know how long it's been since Contra 3 came out. It kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, Robert Rodriguez's Predators, which was a sequel to Predator 1, but it came out after Predator 2 and Alien vs. Predator and all the, you know, it was like 15 years later or something. This is the same idea. This is the Predators uh, of the Contra series. And I dig it. I dig it. I think there's a lot of cool, fun gameplay mechanics here. I think it is a, a great hybrid of old and new. I love the fact that there's like old school NES sound effects and stuff like that. It is, all in all, a great homage to the NES era Contras. What? I just died. What? Oh, you have to stand on the rockets? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Who would have thought to do this? That is insane. Okay, let me just avoid this. 
Uh, we're definitely not beating this game, guys, but uh, it's been a wild ride. Um, the one major thing I think that this game has going wrong for it is the split screens, which is ironic considering it was a DS game. But I think even with a DS, so it's easier to see the sort of spatial distance of the gap, the fact that there's a gap, the fact that there's a part of the screen where your character can literally be off the screen is a no-braino in a Contra game. Are you kidding me? Contra is the game where there's like bullets flying at you from all directions. You have to be able to see what is around you. You can't just have a, oh, there's just a spot in the middle of the screen where you just can't see anything. Like that's shenanigans. Um, this game, I would have said, would have been like a, a, like a perfect homage to the old school Contra, if not for that one fatal flaw. Like, I think that is like a really big flaw in my opinion. I don't think it makes the game unplayable or anything like that, but it definitely really detracted from my experience here today, the fact that there was a gap. Now, I, I don't want to sort of leave on a completely negative note, because I did enjoy this game today. We're fighting this like evil monster boss thing. He's like, uh, monster smash. He just wants to like punch us to death. He's like eschewing guns and bullets because he wants to kill us the old-fashioned way with aggressive punches. But, uh, but yeah, like I, I enjoyed the game. I thought it was cool. I thought it was good. Um, and I definitely think that if you are a fan of the old-school Contra games and you miss, you know, Contra, this is like a great game to play. But that said, the gap in the middle of the screen, I think is pretty much nonsense. I think is it's ridiculous that they included it. They should have just done one screen and an, and like a like some kind of status screen below that. Um, it doesn't make sense. It just does not make sense to have um, to have the dual screen. Like the dual screen is kind of a neat idea, but it just doesn't work in practice. It makes it it makes it too easy to die. So yeah, those are my thoughts. I don't know. What do you guys think of Contra 4 here? What do you think of the fact that they made a sequel to Contra 3 after so many years? Are you down with that, I with that idea? Do you like the games they ended up producing? Do you think it's a nice homage to the uh, old school Contras? Um, did you yourself play this game? Do you have fond memories of it? And we're dead. Man, I thought we might actually beat that guy. We're doing pretty good. Um, but yeah, do you have any memories that you can share? Like your own insights? I'm um, always curious to hear what you guys think about this game because I've told you what I think. Now it's your turn. If you disagree or agree, you know, there is a comment section and that's what they are made for. So feel free to chime off in the comments. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are of this game. But whatever the case may be, I'm super happy we checked this game out today. It is one of the games in the book A Thousand Movie Games Must Play Before You Die. I am leaning towards, yeah, I, I think this is a game worth playing. I love these modern retro games. Um, but again, that gap in the middle of the screen, I think, is the worst part of the game. And it's, it's, it's a shame because it's a black mark on an otherwise great title, I would say. Hard. It is a hard game, but I think it's I think it's a pretty good game. Um, I guess that's one other thing. If it was a little easier and there were more levels, I think that would be a little better rather than having it be so hard and have only like six levels. So, eh, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, um, whatever you think of Contra 4 and whatever you think of my thoughts on Contra 4, hopefully I have made today entertaining for you. If I have, don't forget to slap that like button so that I know how much you love this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, check me out on Patreon, do all that good stuff. Because you guys are the fuel that keeps my channel going. Without fans like you, there's no way I could do what I do. So I, I appreciate that you're all watching. Do me, a, do me a, a solid and like the video and share and all that stuff. Anyway, until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and we'll be back soon with another game in the book, from the book, 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. So until then, guys, peace. It's a bunch of dudes.